Hello, welcome to HMP. Today I'm in the back seat of my car. You might be wondering why I'm doing that. Well, a viewer asked me to do a certain test to test whether the car's DC output could go into an AC inverter and charge the EcoFlow that way and how long it might take to do that. So I'm here in the back seat of my car to find that out. Let's do it. So we're going to be using a power inverter to convert the DC current from the DC port into AC current that the uh, EcoFlow can use to charge with. This is a, this is a sample of the little, little converter. You can see it's got a USB outlet and a, and a plug for like your normal house plug. Let's see if this will convert energy into what we need. So as you can see I plugged in a little power plug to the uh, outlet, the DC outlet. And it's got a little red light on it so we know it's getting power. So let's plug the bigger unit in and see if it works. You can see there's a cooling fan in this little unit. You can get one of these units at any truck stop. They'll, they'll have them. They're very easy to get. They're very inexpensive. You can see it's got a little fuse in it to keep it from overheating. We're going to plug the EcoFlow unit in right now and see what kind of charging we get. This unit is rated up to 175 watts, so let's see what we get. So as you can see, it accepts the power intermittently from the inverter, but that's not really the right way to, do, to charge the unit. The power seems to be intermittent to the unit. Don't know, don't know the reason quite why just yet. So we ran out of time yesterday, so I had to repeat a couple of sequences here, and it's raining today, so that's why you see me dressed in a different type of clothing. <laughs> but we had a very good test today, didn't we? We learned quite a bit about what it takes to charge the EcoFlow unit using the DC power output. Power is intermittent to the EcoFlow unit using an inverter plugged into the DC output of the car. Why it's intermittent to the unit, I don't know, but it doesn't seem like it would be a good idea to have intermittent power or maybe, maybe even dirty power to charge your EcoFlow unit, so be careful. Well, that's, that does it for this episode of EcoFlow Power for Living. We'll try another successful test, another adapter, another topic, the next time. Thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe. Helps the channel. Helps us grow. Thanks very much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.